Hey guys, KnuffAvenger.com here with the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. I uh, just arrived today and uh, I was surprised to notice that the Samsung keyboard actually had a feature that I didn't uh, know that all the other Galaxy Notes had and that was Swift Key Flow. Um, I understand earlier on it was it disabled for some people I guess in the uh, pre multi-view update uh, but here it's working, it's enabled and I just want to show you guys a quick hands-on just because uh, there haven't been really many videos of this outside of Swift Key's official video so we're going to go on the S Note so I can create a new note and show you guys how it works. Um, it's just like swiping the Jelly Bean keyboard that just came out with the trace typing capabilities and I'll just show you guys how it works really quickly. And we're going to do it with the quick brown fox sentence everyone loves. Box jumped. Um, so you can see it's just as easy as, easy as that. I'm typing around the camera so uh, it's a little bit off. I'm not really uh, tracing as accurately as I could but uh, you can see that it works. Um, it's obviously not in that swift key style that you're used to. This is Samsung's own style of keyboard. I, I guess they kind of contracted swift key to put this into their keyboard. So um, the version that you get in the Google Play Store is going to be different as far as the style goes, but it's pretty much going to be the same uh, as what you just saw. Uh, you kind of get that blue trace line following your finger, every, uh, following your finger around everywhere you trace in order to input letters so uh, that's just a quick look at swift key flow i guess in the form of samsung's keyboard we're not exactly sure when this is going to become public beta or um, for a stable release in the google play store uh, but just know that the verizon galaxy note 2 at least comes pre-installed with it and enabled uh, and your galaxy note 2 might as well i'm not sure if it's enabled for everyone um, but samsung definitely uh, contract contracted SwiftKey to implement this functionality. Quentinfanger.com. Thanks.